I know it alls. I'm going to be making David's pick this week. What is up, know-it-alls? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. As always, leave a like and comment down below what you think about this video. Let's get right into it, guys. It is my Survivor Pool edition of the show. We got our three locks of the week. Let's get into it. If you are in a Survivor Pool or a Pick'em Pool, this is the perfect video for you to ensure that you get a win on this week. All right, guys, my first lock of the week is going to be those Carolina Panthers over the New York Giants, guys. The Giants have shown me nothing this year. They cannot protect Eli. That offensive line is spotty. They got Saquon Barkley. That He's a great, he's a stud guy. He might be the best running back in the league right now. And they got Odell Beckham, but simply put, they can't get it to those guys on the outside. They can't get Saquon Barkley any running lanes because of the offensive line. They can't protect Eli long enough for Odell Beckham to get open down the field to make him a viable threat. Their defense has not been that great. Now shifting to the Carolina Panthers, North Turner has been a saving grace for Cam Newton. He has looked as efficient as ever. He's finally over 60% completion for the season. They got Christian McCafferty in the backfield and they're finally committing to the run game outside of Cam Newton running the ball pretty much every single play. That defense is stout. They got Luke Keekley in the middle spearheading that defense and I expect them to win this game pretty easily at home against the New York Giants. And welcome to our weekly segment of Nani's Pick of the Week! Hi Know-It-Alls! Welcome to Nani's Pick of the Week. This week we're coming back to the East Coast. We're taking Baltimore over Cleveland. Yay! And that was Nani's Pick of the Week! Numero dos! Lock of the Week, baby! Lock of the Week! We got the Los Angeles Rams on the road against the Seattle Seahawks. Now you might be thinking to yourself, David, that's a divisional game. But David, the LA Rams are on the road. Guys, I am here to tell you that that does not matter in this game because Seattle is terrible this year and the LA Rams are by far the best team in the league. Jared Goff is playing his best football of his career. You got the best running back in the league in Gurley. You got wide receivers galore. The, off, the defense is great. And plain and simple, Seattle, all they got is Russell Wilson and that's about it. And Russell Wilson isn't good enough to beat the best team in the league. Guys, don't overthink this. Don't think, oh, because it's the division. Oh, they're on the road. Don't overthink it. The Rams are the best team in the league. Go with them. And my third and final lock of the week goes to the Denver Broncos over the New York Jets. Denver's on the road. Denver is a better team, plain and simple. The Jets are not good this year. They had one good game against Detroit, which was a fluke in my opinion. They have a rookie quarterback that doesn't look very comfortable so far. And Denver can run the ball. They have Phillip Lindsay and they have Royce Freeman that are two great running backs. And they give them great holes on that offensive line. They control the line of scrimmage. They chew clock. And they get behind that monster of a defense with those two pass rushers in Von Miller and Bradley Chubb. Expect Chubb and Miller to be in the face of Sam Darnold all game, giving him no time to throw the ball. And Denver, led by Case Keenum, have a great running attack with Royce Freeman and Phillip Lindsay all day long and dominate this game. All right, guys, that is the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all you guys. Guys, am I crazy? I'm letting my Nani pick this game for me? Am I going to lose? What's going to happen? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, I will see you guys tomorrow. Adios. See ya.